Moose are the largest member of the deer family, reclusive and highly unpredictable, making them one of the most dangerous animals in North America. But with their long nose, gangly legs, and floppy ears, moose hold an endearing place in our hearts and our imagination. From Rocky sidekick Bullwinkle to Thedwick, the moose from Dr. Seuss. So when population numbers decline, biologists are looking for answers. We focused on three populations of moose representative of three different habitats in the state. And what we're doing is, is radio collaring up to 30 cows in each of those three study areas over the next few years. We're, we're focused on these drivers of, of moose population trends and those different kinds of things could be levels of predation and also different parasites or diseases that could be affecting them such as winter ticks during that late winter period when they're vulnerable or the arterial worm which um, can restrict blood flow into their head. And we're also looking at differences in habitat, either quantity or quality of forage available to moose in these different study areas. So the, the three main things we're looking for are the survival of these cows, the survival of their calves, and then the, the sort of pregnancy rates of the cows for growing new moose each year. Uh, it's a really ripe time to be doing that given there's so much other interest in other states and provinces of doing the same thing. So really it's all coming to a head that this interest in moose, not just in Montana, but across the continent. This is the second year of the scheduled 10-year study, with collars being placed on the moose only during these first three years. This is Mike Gurnett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.